Hi, everybody. Welcome to Canada's West Coast, Vancouver, British Columbia, along with Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabolski. The Penguins come into this one potentially a little tired based on what went down last night. And that's where the coach is going to want to rely, James, on his depth of lineup. You might use a different goalie. You might stretch your bench out a little bit. But the fact of the matter is everybody has to do this. How successful can you be? And we are about set to drop the puck on this one. The Penguins start with possession as we are now underway. Pittsburgh's got it along the wall. With the stop. Puck scooped up by Besser. Pittsburgh's won the draw and they'll go to work. The Canucks have it behind the cage. Directs it on over to Horvat. Vancouver's moving it into the offensive end. Scores! And when I'm playing at home, I'd love if we could get on the board first. It really makes you feel like you can throw four or five into the net. He doesn't need too many chances to score. That's one of the reasons he leads his team in goals. He's got a great finish when he gets the opportunity. got a 1-0 lead and they've got their crowd on their feet here. Early on, the entertainment is here. Early lead for the home team, the first goal in the first five minutes, and now you push for another. Vancouver's got the puck against the boards. From one point man to another. Battling for the puck, but still hangs on. Puck moved over to Latang. Nice pass. Vancouver's got the puck. Vancouver's got it across the line. Sends the pass down low. And he totally whiffs on it. Pittsburgh's got the puck against the half wall. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Shot right in front. Stopped by the blocker. Right up front, and that's picked off in front. Vancouver's in now. Here's a chance right in front, and that's picked off. And now he moves it quickly to Hornquist. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Receives the pass. Back to the point it goes. Knocked away from the point, looks to make something happen. Vancouver's on the attack. Look out. Absolutely levels them. And it's a much needed whistle for the injured player who's down on the ice. Berlin's turning this challenge down. That's not part of his game. Pearson's going to try and shake this off and get back into the game, but he took a heavy hit there. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. Vancouver's won it. Moves it quickly over to Vertanen. Play is blown dead. We've got a penalty on the way. Officials calling tripping here on this one. This was the penalty I think when I took, I was most angry at myself because you're not trying to do it, and then all of a sudden you see the guy go down and you're just like, ah, oh, man, here I go. There's the result. Power play unit comes out for the faceoff. They've worked on the power play a lot in practice over the last couple of days. This and that's off the iron! He got a hammer. Yeah, did he ever. Now he's got to go pick up his stick. Pretty tough to play the rest of the game without one of those. Offside is the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Vancouver's got it into the offensive zone. Puck grabbed by Dumoulin. And manages to clear the zone. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Quick feed to Miller. Puck lands back onto a stick. 
Here he is, shot right in front, and that's blocked. Gets it out of his own end. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. Here's a short pass to Horvat. Maintains possession from the slot. Wrist shot denied by the puck stopper. Past the midway mark of the frame. James and Ray with you tonight. Vancouver's ahead, 1-0. Vancouver's won the draw. Puck picked up by Edler. Blocked in traffic. And manages to clear the zone. Vancouver's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Fugue stabs. Teammates kill off the penalty. Always frustrating for the power play when they go back to the bench and don't have anything to show for it. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. Feeds the puck to Malkin. Malkin's got it into offensive territory. Moves it to Latang. Slides the puck over. Stops him cold. Vancouver's gained possession along the boards. Gets the puck over to Beagle. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice, coughs up the puck. Quick pass to Gensel. Vancouver's got a hold of it along the wall. Into the offensive end now. Oh, just wide. Didn't miss that by much, he got lots on it. Sends a pass over. Takes it across the blue line. And he slides it quickly to Rissell. The Penguins have it against the wall. Moves it quickly over to Cahoon. Takes the feet at the back end. Takes a shot, and that one's turned away. And he slides it quickly to Latang. Vancouver's got it behind the net. Tries to get it over to Mott. Right in front of the net, puts it wide. He misses by a large margin. He's right in the middle of the ice. Latang's moving the puck through his own zone. Crosby's got the puck along the wing. Latang swooping in on the attack. Throws it in. Vancouver's got the puck along the boards. Unloads it! He scores! Well, now they can go into this intermission, James. They got to feel great about themselves. They tally so late in this period. Not very often in today's game you get enough room to take the slapper anymore. But he hammers this past the goalie. Vancouver's boasting a comfortable 2-0 lead. Ray, what are you seeing down at ice level? Domination, James. They've got the puck the whole time. Eventually, you're going to crack the other goalie, and they have a second time. Still lots of hockey still to come, so get ready here on EA Sports. There are legends, and then there are, what, immortals. And this guy joins us in the broadcast booth at this time. Here he is, the one, the only, Snoop Dogg. Man, it is a pleasure, sir. Hey, man, look here, James. The pleasure's all mine. What a night. What a night with some good hockey, baby. What a party we've got now. You got three teams in California now. You got the Sharks, the Ducks, and the Kings. You're all about California, love. Do you have love for all three, or is there only one? All of them, especially if they make it to the Stanley Cup. You know what I'm saying? Because they're going to call Snoop Dogg to come drink out of the cup. <laughs> you did. And would you? Why not? Not why. Have you? Yes, sir. You have drank out of the Stanley Cup? Yeah, when the Kings had it, they gave me a sip. Of course. Yep, yep. 
Pittsburgh's got a hold of it against the wall. Phenomenal save with the glove to knock it away. Oh, he followed the puck really well there. A couple of good stops. Moved out in front. You're the man who gave us Hockey 101. Where'd that originate from? Say, man, you know, teaching and, you know, just trying to educate while at the same time I was learning. So it was a fun thing to do. Hopefully we can do more of it. You always been a teacher? Man, I love teaching. That's what I do best. He is an educator, people. Hello. Here's a howitzer at the net, and he stands tall in goal. Quick feed to Cahoon. Along the half wall with the puck. Laying the body. Here's a short pass to Dumoulin. Here's a blast. Oh, what a glove save. Moves it to Levo. You're all about pushing boundaries, creating an image. When you were a kid, how old were you when your first album dropped? Man, I was like maybe 19 years old. Okay, so a lot of young players around the NHL can appreciate that sort of vibe. For those guys that are kind of building their own brand right now, what do you say to them? Say, man, stay true to what you do and master your craft, you understand me? And go study the greats. If there's somebody that you love that was great, go study him and see what he did to become great and try to be greater. Uh, I know you're a busy man, but thanks for doing this. Do you want to hang out and watch the rest of the period with us? If you don't mind, I don't mind. I would love it. Well, let's do it, dear. Let's, I'm let's out here. kick it. Let's go, Jay. All right. Demko's not had a whole lot of work this evening, but he makes an excellent save there. This game is not going to spread out. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Vancouver's got a 2-0 lead. And that one's broken up. Aston Reese gains the zone. Takes a shot, and he comes up with it. Quick pass to Mont. Picked up along the wall by Rissell. Takes it from the other side of the blue line. Moves it quickly over to Rissell. Now a quick pass to Tanev. And it's a quick pass to Aston Reese. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Quick feed to Levo. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. And now he moves it quickly to McCann. Moves the puck along the half wall. Comes up with the steal. Here's a short pass to Rust. Schultz has the puck against the half wall. Centering pass turns it aside, handles the pass from his goalie. Vancouver's across the blue line. Moves it to Levo. Oh, no worries. Save. Split. Good defense. The dog father's loving that one. Man, a split. Good defense. Lickety split. Hello. More than half the period has expired. Vancouver's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. Crosby's won the faceoff, and he slides it quickly to Malkin. Takes the feed. And now he angles it across to Schultz. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Here's a shot and makes the save. Mulkins lugging the puck. Taken by Schultz. On the attack along the boards. No! Wow. Oh, can I have a pillow with that hit? <laughs> he blew him up. And a blanket. Thank you. You're going to bed on that one? Right now. Shutting it down. Ladies and gentlemen, Snoop Dogg. Good night. Take it along the wall by Crosby. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Off the deflection. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. Moves it on over to Miller. Hammers it on net. That's off a stick. Here they come on the attack. Vancouver's got the puck in their own end. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Can't get it to go. Hope you guys enjoyed my conversation with Snoop Dogg just as much as I sure did. Third period is just moments away. Vancouver's been excellent in their own end. They have given up absolutely nothing, and they lead a two-zip. Third period is just around the corner, so don't even think about putting that controller down.
And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. Moment of truth for one team. Here we go. Third period is underway. 40 minutes into this one here. Razor, how do you see things? Pittsburgh's got to find some energy here. The game's close, but they haven't had very many shots on goal. You're not going to score like that. Sends the pass over. Icing is the call here, and those winded bodies are going to be out there for an extended period here now. Yeah, they can't get a change in, and so you go back and kind of meander your way back as long as you can to kill time and get a little breath. Lots of time left in this period. 2-0 is the score. Vancouver's got it in the defensive zone. Quick pass to Besser, and that one's picked off in the neutral zone. The Penguins are still in a tight game here. One of the reasons they're in it is their positional play has been outstanding. Grips it, rips it, and that's blocked away. Oh, what a stop! Gets control of the puck right in front of his own end. Slides it over with pace to Miller. Vancouver's on the attack. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Oh, and a good heads-up defensive play. Handles the puck. Vancouver's got the puck in the defensive end. And now it's grabbed by Besser. Puck scooped up by Besser. Makes the save. More than half the period left to play. We've got a 2-0 game here tonight. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. Beagles won it. Puck grabbed by Myers. Moves it quickly over to Stetcher. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. Solid hit on that play. Moves it over to Galchenyuk. Puts it on net, misses high. That feels like a wasted opportunity. You gotta get it on target. Might have skipped up on him right before he let it go. And he puts it wide. You have to get it on net here. You've got a great chance to score and you don't even test the goalie. Pittsburgh's gained possession along the boards. Denies him again. Yeah, he's pretty good positioning here, James. He makes the two stops back to back. From behind the net, looks to break out. And now it's over to Hornquist. Hornquist's got it against the boards. That's a solid check on the play. Turns it away. He scores! Jumps on the rebound and buries it! The rebound snapped away. What a nice shot. But the goalie's got to do a better job cleaning up that rebound. You can't leave it right there. Pittsburgh's come back with a big one here in the third. Grind away, dig away. Now you've got a chance. Only trailing by one goal. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. Number eight, time of the goal. Nine minutes, 55 seconds. Well past the midway mark of this period, the Penguins make their way back into the face-off circle, still in search of another goal. Schaller's one possession. Quick feed to Schaller. Takes the feed. Misses a golden opportunity there. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it along the wall. Tanev's got it on the offensive end. And he slides it quickly. He clearly doesn't like that. You could see that coming. That was such a big... Well, James, you run around like that, you're going to have to pay the price eventually. And what that means is you're going to have to fight. Here he goes. Good old-fashioned Donnybrook here. Sends him down to the ice. That's a clear decision there. The Canucks will like to add on to the momentum gained with that fight. The building is really perked up.
Pittsburgh's got to be frustrated with how things have played out tonight, trailing in this third period. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Stopped by the goaltender. Here's a short pass to Levo. Puts the puck away. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the boards. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Takes a shot, and that goes off the player in front. Scores! We're all tied up! Well, it's getting to a stage in the game where you think they're not going to be able to find the equalizer. But they stay at it, and they get it done. He doesn't miss too many, James. He leads his team in goals for a reason. The Penguins have drawn even here in the back half of the third. Working away at the game, you want to give yourself the best chance to win. You don't want this lingering on too long. Now they've tied it. Over the line they come. And now he moves it to Schultz. Gets a stick on it. Grabs the puck in the slot. Quick feed down low. Takes the pass. Denied by the goaltender. Nice feed from the goaltender. Puts it on net. Scores! And the deadlock is broken. Oh, what a crushing goal to give up. But the other guys worked hard for it. They pressed the play, and now they've got the lead. I think the goalie whips on this. He looks like he wants to get a stick on it. It's low on that side, but he doesn't make the stop. The Canucks, as they make their way back to the face-off circle, feeling a little bit better about themselves with a one-goal lead. Now you can see the finish line and how you get there is really going to determine what happens here. I say stay aggressive. Try and get another one. Out front, and that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Let's it go, blocker save. Vancouver's got a hold of it against the wall. Quick pass over to Besser. Denied by the blocker. Pittsburgh's got control of it now from their own end. Malkin's always had a shot first mentality. He's able to score with a great shot. He's among the league leaders in goals. Here in the late going of the frame, Vancouver's got the momentum with a one-goal lead. They'd love to add to that. Horvat's won the draw. Hammers one. Makes the save. Loose puck battle along the boards. Moves the puck. Moves it to Galchenyuk. Puck picked up by Miller. Carries the puck inside the neutral zone. Here's a rocket of a shot. What a stop. Slides it across to Galchenyuk. Carries it across the line. And now he tries to get it across to Dumoulin. Turns him away! Extra attacker out here with the empty net on the line with his face off. A lot of pressure on the centerman. You need the face off. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Quick pass to Beagle. Now he takes it over the line. Pittsburgh's got the puck. Nice pass. Moves it quickly over to Gensel. Gensel's got it to the side. Now a quick pass to Dumoulin. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. He'll keep it alive and moves it ahead. Levo's carrying it ahead. And there it is. Empty netter. That'll seal it up. Pretty easy one right there for the cash in. They'd really have to screw this up now, James, to lose. The empty netter should put it away. Vancouver's added to their lead with the empty netter, and Ray, that's pretty much all she wrote, I would say. Well, you grind away to get the lead through this much of the game, and they pull the goalie, they're going to pressure you. You put it away with a... Easy one into the empty net. Trailing in this one, they have pulled the goalie and the extra attackers out. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Gensel. Receives the pass. Moves right to the middle. Shot denies him with the save. That's all she wrote from this one tonight. I'm sure.
further disappointed here as the streak is over, but it's been a really good run, and they played pretty well this evening. Yeah, are you still encouraged by the way they played? Because it looked like they were right there. Can't win all the time. I, I thought Fair they enough. played a good game. For Ray Ferraro, I'm Shane Sabalski. We'll see you next time we drop the puck.